everyone, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to do a product review on the new Headley and Bennett chef's knife. So some of you may know who Headley and Bennett is. Uh, they are the company that makes really dope aprons like this one that you've probably seen on Top Chef or where you've seen some of your favorite chefs wear this apron. They make really high quality aprons and very recently they started making their own knife line uh, making a chef's knife, a bread knife, and a paring knife. In this video, I will do an unpacking, talk about the knife's price point, some pros and cons, do a sharpness test, and overall give my recommendation on who this knife is for. So follow along. So here I have the unopened box. And you can see the Headley and Bennett tape. So funny thing is I've had this box for a while but have waited to open it so I can do this product review for you all. Um, so let's open up the box. And we can see this really cool inner box. And it says designed with, designed with for the best chefs in the world. It's got their ampersand, the chef's knife. It's in this cool black box. And then on the other side, you've got a, a yellow side with their website, social media handles. And yeah, same saying it's designed in Los Angeles, forged from Japanese steel, made in China. So we'll open this up as well. So under the top cover it says Headley and Bennett, and then here it says Cook Boldly. Really like this yellow motif going on. I'll take that off. It's got some descriptions here and some care instructions, and they got a QR code to help you get more information on your new knife. Really like this personalization here. Feels a very warm and hospitable. Then here we have the knife and I got it in black as it'll be a simple color to match any environment and different styles. I think black is very versatile and here it's in the molding casing so your knife is nice and put. Here we go. It feels really lightweight already and Love the way it feels. So let's talk about pricing. This knife goes for $115, which is in the mid-tier price point. And if you have an industry account with Headley and Bennett, you can get 15% off if you work in the food industry and sign up for that kind of account. In regards to feel, this knife is very uh, lightweight. I love the way it feels in my hand. It's got this ergonomic grip. And this bolster here is sloped. There's two kinds of grips. Some people, a lot of people, especially non-professional people, do handle grips and they cut this way, which is less precise. You'll see a lot of professionals do a pinch grip on the blade and hold it like this, which gives you more precision. So that's kind of how, that's generally how I cut and a lot of professionals and now you will too now so you can be more precise with your cutting. It feels very good to do the pinch grip and one thing you can do to test the balance of knives is to just let go here to see uh, with the pinch grip on the blade how much the handle weighs. And as you can see, uh, it doesn't lean this way. If I just hold, hold the knife this way, you can see it's a very well balanced and it doesn't lean in any direction more than the other. So it's perfectly balanced, which is really helpful for cutting so you don't have any resistance in any direction and you can slice more easily and more seamlessly the way you want and have more control. So, so far this knife feels really good in my hand and there's this ergonomic grip with uh, different kinds of curves and when I just grip it, it feels really good. So from this point, let's see how sharp this knife is out of the box and see if it performs well with its core functionality of slicing and dicing things. So the first test we're gonna do is a paper test, which is a common test you'll see online to see how sharp a knife is. And if the knife is super sharp, 
it should have no problem cutting through the paper and we'll see how it performs. So let's give it a shot. One, two, three. So as you can see, that really sliced through the paper easily. This knife is pretty sharp. So this next sharpness test I'm gonna do is to dice through an onion. And we wanna see it just slice through the onion easily to see how it performs and not crush the onion. Uh, if it crushes the onion, then that's when we know that the knife isn't very sharp. So first I'm gonna make some, it's this way. The knife uh, had no trouble doing that and cut pretty well. And now we'll make slices this way, make slices this way. And then one thing we're looking for is, remember, not crushing and just slicing through. So so the, the knife is slicing through really easily, almost like the onion is butter. Um, with a little force, of course, not just sliding right through, but it's cutting really clean and dicing onions pretty well. So knife is sharp in that regard as well. So the next thing I'm gonna cut is a tomato. As we all know, uh, tomatoes can be very difficult to cut sometimes with a dull knife as tomato skins need sharp knives to be pierced through or else we kind of crush them and it kind of just gets smashed and splatters everywhere. So here I have a tomato, and let me cut it wide open uh, for you to see. So that was actually a really easy cut and a sign that this knife is super sharp. So let me do that again. So yeah, it's kind of sliding right through, so that's another sign that this knife is super sharp. As you know, that with a dull knife, like oftentimes you're just crushing down. But here it's um, just gliding right through. And I can make these really thin cuts through this tomato. So this knife is super sharp. So let's talk about the pros of this knife. First off, it has a very minimalistic, simple design. Nothing flashy here, but I love the sloped bolster and the ergonomic grip. And ampersand here for the Headley and Bennett logo supposed to patina over time which will add some nice character to this knife and this knife is made of three layer japanese steel and you can pretty much feel that it'll be very durable and be a workhorse knife so you know if you're a professional cook uh, and need a prep and work on the line this will last you a long time and be a knife that you don't have to worry about too much with maintenance. So it'll be super durable and will last you a while. And because it is Japanese steel, it should retain its edge for a while between sharpenings. So overall, the knife is very high quality. My favorite thing about it is just really how it feels in your hand and its lightweightness. So that's when you know that this knife will you know, work for you in the long run. Just, just look at it cutting through tomatoes and doing that all day. Wouldn't mind doing that with this knife because it's super lightweight. That's generally all the pros. I uh, can't really think of any cons beyond the price, but for $115, this is a knife in the mid-tier range of knives for chef's knives. That's the only con, but it's not really a con. I, just, I think this knife is actually worth that cost, and especially if you have an industry account, you can get the knife for a discounted rate. So who do I recommend this knife for? I recommend this knife for home cooking enthusiasts, people who love to cook a lot at home, also for professional cooks and chefs as this will be a very durable knife and really great for you in uh, food prep or restaurant service operations as it is a workhorse and very durable and versatile and lightweight that you can use for hours on end. And because it's lightweight, you can pack it with you and it's not bulky at all. Who I don't recommend this knife for are for folks who don't cook a lot. You don't need a knife like this, uh, especially pay that much for this and 
Overall, this is a really beautiful and sleek knife and I'm excited to use it some more. So kudos to Headley and Bennett and thank you for making more beautiful products.